everyone, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and happy spring. I have for you today a springy project. I did another sketch of a bunny. I, I had another one in my, um, on my channel and I'll try to find that and link that down below for you. But this particular bunny is just gazing into the, into the sky and is stargazing. And I just thought it, it turned out so fun. I do have the pattern available in my Etsy store if anybody's interested. I have it in two different sizes. I did put the large size on the pillows. But then at the end of this video, I'll show you a picture of another project I did with the smaller bunny. So you can take a look at that. One of them is free motion and it's just the outline of the bunny and the outline of the star. And this one is applique. And so I did applique the pieces and including the star. So I hope you enjoy this. Let's get started. I'm using a heavy cotton canvas for my first pillow and I have it measured about 14 inches by 14 inches. The finished pillow is 13 by 13. I have two of these, one for the front and one for the back. And then I picked out several pieces of cream colored, light colored fabrics or scraps for my background. I have these cut in rectangles and squares and I'm just laying these out just in a pleasing way. This is how I kind of wanted. Love this piece of uh, music fabric. I really like some of the backgrounds to have some words on and just some different looks. Again, just laying these out. And then I'm taking my um, glue stick and I'm just gluing these into place. Once the glue stick is completely dry, you can take it to your sewing machine and sew without worrying about it getting gumming up your sewing machine. I'm also adding some lace onto this and I added a little piece of trim as well. Now I'm taking this to my sewing machine and with my regular stitching, I'm going to be doing um, with cream colored thread and I added a lot of decorative stitches. And now to add this bunny. Now this is a heavier fabric. And so I'm using a sulky, which is a water soluble stabilizer. I can't see through this canvas at all. So I know I, know I won't be able to trace it, but this is a wonderful way to get your design onto a piece of fabric. All my supplies will be listed down below. My, the salvi that I'm using, I'll list, link that. And also this pen, this is a uniball pen. And this works really well to trace on this salvi. Ballpoint pens don't work really well. You need a gel, like a gel pen. So you can get an experiment with that. Now I'm just laying that salvi where I want my bunny and I'm just adding some pins here. I'll be taking this to my sewing machine and I'll be free, free motion stitching this outline on right over the top of that salvi. I have my feed dogs dropped and I have my um, free motion foot on and I have it set on a zigzag motion. So, and this is wonderful to add a thicker line and especially a furry and it just kind of ha has that, that look of fur. It just works great. Now you'll be able to see it and I'm really going to um, turn it so that, that I'm making an advan advantage of that zigzag for this bunny's tail. This takes a little bit of practice, but you can really get, um, once you get an idea of how your sewing machine is going to do this zigzag, um, it's just really a lot of fun. Now you can see I'm done with my little tail there and it's, it just has that fuzzy look to it. And now for the eye, I did have, I have my straight stitch on right now and I'm just gonna outline that eye first. And don't worry if you get off, once that, um, stabilizer is removed you're not going to see that line at all and now to fill it I'm, I put it back on a, a, a zigzag stitch and this real makes a really quick um, job of filling an area now I'm removing my 
my um, stabilizer just carefully it'll just carefully remove it and anything that's left I just added a paper towel that's damp and just going to be ironing that and the rest of that um, salvi will will take will come off and I'm going to do the same with my star I'm going to add that using my salvi and just going to be tracing that and then pinning it into place and then taking it to my sewing machine and then I'm going to remove remove it remove that salvi in the same way just carefully removing it and I completely forgot to show how I um, painted this so I'm going to I had another little project here I'm going to show it show you on this how I painted this star I just used my regular watercolor palette and this is a student grade again I'll link that down below I put a lot of water on it but then I also added my um, medium, my fabric medium, just to get that so it adheres better. Added a little bit of paint also on that bunny nose and ears. This is such an easy way to add just some color to your design. Now for that word, this word stargazing. On the pattern, I did flip this so you can just trace on your, and I'm using Heat and Bond Life Light for my um, iron-on adhesive. Just trace that out and then putting that on the back side of a piece of scrap. I mean, this is like a black, black scrap with a little pin dot on it. Once that's iron on the back side, I'm going to just cut this out. And I'm using my really tiny scissor for this. It's just the easiest way. And I did not cut the inside of my letters. I just left those solid. Removing that backing and getting that into place how I like it and then ironing, ironing that into place. And then I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. I don't show this, but I just free motion stitch those letters on. And you can see that's all stitched on. And now just forming my pillow, just putting that back on and right sides together and putting some pins in it. We'll be stitching that with a half inch seam allowance and then leaving an opening of about six inches to turn it. Clipping my corners after it's stitched and then getting in there and turning it right side out. And I'm just going to be folding this under just with my iron, pressing that into place. And I'm going to link another video down below on, on how I finish off my pillows. I do finish them off using my sewing machine. Just adding a, the twinkle in the eye with a little bit of fabric paint. And this fabric paint is Arteza's fabric paint. And there it is. Absolutely love how it turned out. And on to the next one. This one I'm using a lightweight muslin fabric in natural colored. A piece of batting on the back. And then that heavier canvas I did use on the back side. I do have this, this design flipped and all the pieces separated. Um, so it's just easier to trace. Just got all my pieces that I wanted to use. And instead of the putting the, I'm going to put a yo-yo for that bunny table, tail instead of stitching that on. Now tracing, and again, I'm using the Heat and Bond Light for my adhesive, my iron-on adhesive, and just tracing those. And I'm just using a ballpoint pen to trace these. Trace these pieces on. Any piece that has a dash line to it is behind. That just kind of signifies that. And again, I do have, I'm tracing out all of these pieces on the star because I'm using five different colors of yellow for this star. Rough cutting those pieces and then these will be ironed on the back side of my, my um, fabrics. So I have my five little pieces of yellow there and just adding that, that star, the rays to the star. Cutting right on the line now, this is, I believe is the eye. I love using these uh, Tim Holtz scissors for this cutting these appliques because it does have a surrogated edge um, and it just it prevents some of the, the fraying just 
getting my pieces into place and ironing on. I do have my um, wanting to add some lines here before I take it to the sewing machine. Just using my pattern as a guide. I have my, my heat erase pen here. And also I'm just gonna slip that underneath. I have a couple different word choices or phrases. This is, do you see what I see? Um, and, I'm, and I can see right through this one. This, this muslin is a lot lighter than that heavier canvas. So I'm, not, I'm not having to use the salvia at all. I can just trace this. You can also trace this using a fabric marker instead of free motion stitching those words on. I am gonna be using free motion, um, but that's another alternative for you. At my sewing machine, and I'm doing the same thing with a zigzag free motion, but again, you can use a, a tiny zigzag stitch or whatever way, whatever stitch you like for appliqueing. You do not have to do free motion on the applique. But again, just adding that kind of fuzzy look with this free motion um, zigzag stitch. Now I'm on to doing the words, and I do not have this sped up at all. This right here is the actual speed that I'm doing this, the words. Just so you can see, and then I speed it up, I think, for this next one. But I do want to point out that don't be too concerned if you get off a little, like I certainly do. I'm not right on that line at all. This fabric pen will erase just with some heat. Um, and you'll find find that you'll just use your own handwriting when you go. Just added that little tail as well, and now I'm just going to be taking my iron and getting rid of those marks. Adding that twinkle in the eye. And then I really wanted to add some color to the background of this. And so I am just, again, adding my fabric medium and a lot of water, and I'm just I'm putting some get some spatters on this, both in yellow and then I, I believe I add a little bit of orange too, and I'm going to be doing the same, just to get some of that background filled in. It looks like stars all over the sky. Here's also another little um, design that I did. This is the smaller one that I did on a notebook, and I did a little wall hanging as well. And here's some close-ups of that pillow. I hope you enjoyed this project, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye for now.